us. This week we have a very special guest. It's Rosie. <laughs> we introduce ourselves on the show. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. I have Wush. As you might have noticed, uh, Rosie is British, so I got her, made her some tea. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think? There's like a blooming flower in this tea, and I. I don't really understand what's happening. Like, is this a garden? Actually, it's an exotic tea that I don't even use for myself. I just save it for special guests. It's an actual flower that then blossoms in the hot water. This isn't real tea. This week, we have an international guest! That's right, it's a franchise. <laughs> How long have you been waiting for that? A while. <laughs> I've just been mass messaging any international person I now know. Now you can start a playlist. Oh my, thank you. You're we welcome. just had a meeting where we learned that we have to make more pay playlists. Yeah, I, we got a little in trouble because we don't do anything right on this channel. Got a little slap on the wrist and told that we had plateaued. So this week we also have a international. Oh, I forgot I'm supposed to sing it. <laughs> You are in a cage of your own building. Do you understand? You don't have to do any of it. You just have chosen. Don't say that to me because I swear to you I will walk right off this channel. <laughs> this week we have an international question. International question. International question. Anna, Australia. Everyone thinks I'm Australian here. Really? Yeah, yeah. and I'm like, that is so wrong. Why is do they think that? Because you're rowdy and you like to party. No, just because they don't know what British and Australian. British I think it's because you smile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the that Brits sense. don't like that. Really, I don't have anything wrong with Britain. I have a problem with France. Okay, Anna from Australia wants to know, how do you get over a 10-year crush? Oof, Anna. At this point, they're not even a person to you. You've just built them up into a 10-year crush pedestal ideal, so right. you gotta let it go. What you have to do is you have to become so successful and so amazing that you get outside of their bracket so that you're, them be you're better than them. And then, role reversal, that guy's got a crush on you. It's like a Hunger Games ranking. Yeah, so everything is a ranking. I used to fancy my Starbucks barista when I was at university, and uh, I Everything that you just said is so adorable. <laughs> I plucked up the courage to ask him out, and I went up to the counter, and I, which was completely inappropriate as well, he's in his working environment, to ask him out, but I also get stress nosebleeds. So I uttered the first couple of words, and then immediately, like, blood was gushing from my what nose. What happened? Did he help you clean yeah, up the blood? Me, he gave me some serviettes. He was like, yeah. He gave the you whole some what? Serviettes. Na napkins. Whoa. Napkins. Material. But that's not it. What is, what kind of word is that? French. You hate it. But I think you're right. You gotta become yeah. better than them, yeah. and then they'll like you. And then you reject them, and then that's your growth. Honestly, all I want is to reject everyone in my life. Yeah. That's winning. Someone that you liked for a long time, then you can reject them finally. Oh my, I mean, that's better than marriage. I just had a, a ex reach out. Oh God, it took a whole three minutes before you mentioned that. I think that there's one person I still have an unrequited thing for. Who? Is that? I can't say. But like, give a suggest, like who? Okay, well, so I went to college with him. And he's had the opportunity to reject me now many times. <laughs> and I keep running into him. And I keep waiting to be that successful that he finally asks me out. Spoiler! Not spoiler, horrible twist. Oh, okay. Spoiler, <laughs> you're just M. Night Shyamalan. It's not really a spoiler, it's more like a horrible twist. Trigger warning, go My on. My friend shot a commercial with him. She had a boyfriend. First night they hung out together, he made a move on her. I've wow. known this guy for years. At this point, I'm just obsessed with him because I don't know what I need to do to crack it. That's... Horrible, I'm sure he's not even thinking like oh, he's, he's definitely not thinking about <laughs> me I have a lot of lady white whales. Yeah, but unfortunately mm. they're straight. No, the worst part is they're not straight That's true. Mm -hmm. Name the two that I'm thinking of are not straight. They just so happen who, to Brie and who? Can we not <laughs> do this? As cool as that she definitely watches this show. 